first at 11, there's growing concern tonight for the safety and well-being of a Metro Atlanta man who never made it to work Monday morning. Victor Roberts' SUV was spotted near Sonoya in Coweta County, 55 miles from his home in Marietta. And Roberts is the third command at the Department of Juvenile Justice, and his disappearance has many within the law enforcement community working to bring him home bring in one of their own. Yeah, 11 Alive's been on this story since the very start. Our Cody Alcorn was out in that area tonight. Cody, what have you learned about Roberts? Well, we do know Roberts oversees 78 offices statewide and about 9,000 youth, which is why his boss, DJJ Commissioner Tyrone Oliver, says this is way out of character for Roberts. The creature of habit. Uh, so for him to go um, missing like this is just, um, you know, completely out of the normal. Even more baffling, Victor Roberts has no ties to the area a license plate reader snapped this picture Monday afternoon. It's his Mazda CX-9, an hour south of his Marietta home. We had several DJJ employees taking, um, taking part of um, just searching the last known location where the vehicle was seen on that plot camera down in Sonoya. Stallings Road feeds to many others in Coweta County. We just don't know where he's at geographically. The area has a lot of wooded areas, which crews have been spreading out trying to cover as much ground as possible. I think we've pretty much combed that area pretty thoroughly. Um, but, and we're still doing that again, going back over places, trying to check places that we hadn't checked in that area. As Commissioner Tyrone Oliver, along with Robert's family and friends, try to remain optimistic. Right now, we're just waiting for a, a, a different lead. Police say the key to finding Roberts is to track down his white SUV. Commissioner Oliver says they're all just praying he's okay. You can't ask for a better, um, a better deputy commissioner than Victor Roberts. Now, the GBI is assisting Cobb County Police and the Coweta County Sheriff's Office. Besides those ground searches, choppers have been up in the air trying to search for his SUV again, but they've not found anything yet. Wow. Cody, do we know anything about his mental state, and is there any reason to believe that foul play might be involved here? And a lot of people on social media questioning that as well. Really, all we have learned from Cobb County Police is that he is in the early stages of memory loss. We really don't know how extensive that is, but it could be playing a key role in his disappearance tonight. Cody Alcorn, thank you, sir. Appreciate yeah. that.